Scotland has more than 400 words for snow. Few people would call the Scottish poetic, but they sure are creative. When linguists from the University of Glasgow compiled the first historical glossary of Scots, one of Scotland's three official languages, they were blown away at the bountiful ways to express the concept of snow. Some of those words include snow, snow, beefle, swirls of snow, and flindrinken, a light snow shower. And that giant snowflake that fell in Montana that would be called a scalp. A pig was once executed for murdering a child in France. Before you roll your eyes, this happened during the Middle Ages, when animals were regularly tried for human crimes. One example of such a trial took place in the French village of Fontenay Auxiliary Roses in 1386. The defendant, a young pig, was arrested for attacking a baby's face. When complications from the injuries ultimately killed the three-month-old, the pig was sent to jail and later, publicly executed after failing to provide a solid defense for its crimes. Someone tried to sell New Zealand on eBay but was stopped once the bid reached $3,000. There's an ongoing rivalry between Australia and New Zealand, but in 2006, one Australian man came very close to winning. In May 2006, he opened a bid on the e-commerce platform for the country of New Zealand. Bids started at one cent. Bidding prices climbed all the way to $3,000 before eBay officials shut it down, adding clearly New Zealand is not for sale. Still, New Zealand was salty about the prank. The country's foreign minister at the time even called it nonsensical stupidity. A Canadian woman who lost her wedding ring while gardening found it 13 years later growing on a carrot. Mary Grahams always loved gardening, but not as much as she loved her husband. That's why she couldn't bear to risk breaking his heart by telling him she lost her wedding ring in the garden. Instead, she went out and bought a cheap replacement. More surprising than the fact that her husband never noticed the difference, is the fact that 13 years after the incident, the ring resurfaced on a carrot. The city of Boring has a sister city called Dull. The Oregon city of Boring, named after founder William H. Boring, has claimed the village of Dull, in Perthshire, Scotland, as its sister city. Oregon's governor named August 9 to be the official boring and dull day throughout the state. In the 1990s, North Korean teachers were required to play the accordion. Famously mysterious North Korea is full of surprises, not the least of which is its cultural fondness for the accordion. The musical squeeze box is known as the people's instrument because its convenient size makes it ideal to take on marches. For years, the accordion has been taught in North Korean schools. It's no wonder, then, why in the 1990s teachers were once required to pass an accordion exam to get the job, according to interviews from the book Nothing to Envy, Ordinary Lives in North Korea. The punctuation mark is called an interabang. That's right, the combination question mark exclamation mark that so many of us overuse in text messages has a name. It was invented in the 1960s by an ad man named Martin Spector who wanted to lend typographical form to the messages behind advertising campaigns that were both questions and exclamations. Think, got milk, or can you hear me now? The interabang originally looked like this, but nowadays most people use its two root symbols instead. Doritos are flammable and can be used as kindling. If you're ever in a bind, throw some Doritos on the grill and spark them up. Though you can make kindling out of nearly anything, the flavored corn chips are particularly handy because they'll burn for a long time. In fact, most chips will serve as good fire starters because they're made of flammable hydrocarbons soaked in oil, according to an investigation by The Star. The more covered in powder flavoring they are, the longer the fire will last. In 2016, a Florida man was charged with assault after throwing a live alligator through a drive through window. In perhaps the most Floridian attack ever, the deadly weapon of choice was an alligator. As 24-year-old Joshua James was being handed his drink at a Wendy's drive through he tossed a live 3.5-foot alligator at the attendant for absolutely no reason at all. As a result, he was charged with assault with a deadly weapon, possession of an alligator, and petty theft. He was also banned from all Wendy's fast food restaurants. 
American Airlines saved a boatload by removing a single olive from meals. Three decades ago, American Airlines executives, looking to save money, removed the single olive that was included in every first-class meal. As reported by Jet Set on Bravo, this saved the airline an estimated $40,000 per year in 1980s dollars. That's all for now. See you again next time on Fun Facts TV. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more amazing facts like this. Thank you.